So this is my last day, full day in Mexico, and what I wanted to tell you about is the pros and cons of living in Mexico. It's a really incredible country, and if you want to move here, I want to lay out a few things. Um, one of the biggest pros is that it's a huge country, and you can be by the beach, in the mountains, in the desert, um, in a big city like Mexico City and then you go to a smaller city like Oaxaca City and really consider what kind of food is going to be there. Go there, check it out, see if you like the vibe, the people, the friendliness. You can be in a real natural sanctuary out in the jungle uh, far from the city and have a very peaceful, tranquil kind of life. There's going to be different prices. Like Puerto Vallarta is a little more expensive than Oaxaca City. Doesn't have the variety. Um, well, actually, you know what? It does have the variety of you can get anything you want. They've got a Costco, a Walmart, different kinds of restaurants. But I didn't see that they had the variety of Mexican food that is here in Oaxaca. Um, different food entirely. Um, but you get a lot of choices there, and it's a beautiful beach, nice people, lots of foreigners coming from all over the world. So that's a plus. Um, I was surprised by Mexico City being so big city, huge, um, good infrastructure, distinct different neighborhoods. I'd like to spend more time there. Okay, you're not on the beach, but you've got everything that you need in a big city if that's what you want there were some nice gardens there but i think all in all my top two favorites have been puerto vallarta and oaxaca city so you have to go there and find out for people from the u.s and from canada i think canada included uh you can get a six month visa um, so I've been here four months. You can get that and check it out. Go to different places. See what you like. Because you're not really going to know. Like here has been the most Spanish-speaking city I've been in. So you can't get by with just knowing English. I've had to learn some Spanish. And you just have to because people will speak to you in Spanish. And when you're out and about, you need to know it. The markets are amazing here. The fresh fruit is incredible. Organic. I feel really healthy. So just decide what's important to you. Do you want to be by the beach? Do you want to have an international influence? Do you want to have a Costco? There is no Costco here, but we do have a Walmart. Um, so I can't recommend enough that you go to the place and really live there for a while because you might get tired of something that's just going to be normal every day. Um, so one of the problems, pros and cons, big con, is the noise, uh, barking dogs and <clears throat> loud music a lot. So you just have to decide what you can really live with and what's okay with you. Because there's going to be quieter places, there's going to be louder places, and it's going to be affected by, you know, who's there at the time, different neighborhoods. So I think the biggest pro is the cost is uh, what, 1 20th what you pay in the US. That's pretty significant. Medical care, really good. I went to the hospital a couple of times for something minor. Swimmer's ear, got taken care of right away. Um, very low cost, $15 for a private hospital visit um, with a doctor that just saw me and sat with me for half an hour. So um, those are two big pros. Um, and you know some of the cons people wouldn't care about like I found the beach in Puerto Vallarta was a little bit dirty for me but I'm used to Hawaii so I kinda got spoiled that way but um, other people that don't swim at all wouldn't care um, and I did get swimmers here so there's other beaches there that are cleaner along that coast and uh, I still haven't checked out Sayulita so next time I come I'll do that so 
please ask me questions below. I would love to help you about Mexico. And if you ask it, somebody else is thinking it. And please, if somebody is considering moving to Mexico, share this video with them. And thanks for all the subscribes and likes.